If you're thinking of or already got the Pimax Crystal or Pimax Crystal Lite, well, you'll be aware that the graphics and the detail available, particularly for flight simulation, is absolutely amazing. And if you've watched any of my reviews on either one of those VR headsets, you'll be aware that they're quite comfortable if you wear glasses. But there's no getting away from the fact that having prescription lenses is far more comfortable and certainly far more convenient. However, there's one anomaly with the Pimax Crystal and the Pimax Crystal Lite is that the focal distance used is different to most other VR headsets and therefore the risk is there that you could inadvertently order the wrong prescription for your lenses. In this video we'll run through the details and things you can do to make sure that you get your prescription right and also for any of you that are not that familiar with VR lenses um, and what have you, we'll run through quickly how to fit them and also some very bespoke comfort options that I'm currently using right now which transform the comfort of the Pimax Crystal or Pimax Crystal Lite. Welcome back to The Sim Hangar. My name's Mark. Thank you very much for watching and let's get started. And I'm going to begin with a disclaimer. I'm not an optician or have particular skills in this area, so I'm going to do my best to explain it as I understand it. There are, of course, many different types of VR headsets using a variety of different lenses. But up to this point, they've more or less had one thing in common, and that's the focal length. It has become the norm in VR headsets for those of us wearing prescriptive glasses that we would use our far-distance prescription for those lenses, and although that may seem counterintuitive, we do so because the focal length of most VR headsets is between 1.5 and 2 meters. The vast majority of headsets towards the 2 meter mark, with something like the Quest 2 being one of the shorter ones at 1.3 meters. I'm generalizing here, but for those of us wearing prescriptive glasses, anything under a meter is short sighted, and anything over a meter is our far distance prescription. And that is why we use the far distance prescription in VR headsets. The Pimax Crystal and Crystal Light, however, breaks away from this norm and has a focal distance of one meter. This technological innovation on behalf of Pimax means that it's easier to bring things into focus. And for those of us wearing corrective lenses, it raises the question, do we use our long or short sighted prescription or is it something in between? Getting the right prescription for you will make sure you get full benefit of the great clarity and detail of the amazing aspheric displays in the Pimax Crystal and Crystal Light. Get it wrong, it could end up being a blurry mess. In theory then, if you get a focal length of one meter in your prescription glasses, this should be ideal. And that may well suit most, but really is it as cut and dried as that? There's so many different types of eye conditions astigmatisms and so on. Well, I'm sure my explanation was less than adequate, but I hope you're able to make some form of sense out of it. Just for clarity, I went through the whole process myself, checking my far and my near distance, and I found that in my particular circumstance, the far distance gave me the best visuals, but it will vary from person to person. If we touch back on Andy, for example, he found using his far distance absolutely blurry, unacceptable. He changed it to his uh, near distance, mid to near distance, and he found it was like night and day, the difference. So worth mentioning. So it would appear getting a focal length of about one meter would be ideal. But it's also evident that results do vary, and I can only assume it will vary more with those that have a big difference between their far distance and near-sighted prescriptions. The tests I personally did were not very scientific. With my glasses on in the headset, my prescription is a progressive one moving from far sight to near sight. I simply moved the glasses up and down. A mid-distance may have been marginally better but I wasn't able to determine it accurately, so I stayed with the far distance. What I'm saying in a nutshell, it's worth a check. The main reason I'm making this video is that when you go shopping for your prescription lenses for the Pimax Crystal or Crystal Light, it's not always immediately obvious that different parameters may well apply 
to ordering these lenses. And this is particularly relevant, I feel, to those that have had a number of VR headsets in the past, used to ordering using your far distance prescription, which as highlighted previously, may or may not be the best for you. Let's quickly run through a few examples, but one thing to note is that the details that I show were correct at the time that this video was produced and may well have changed by the time you watch this video. Check the respective websites for details as necessary. If we take a look at Hans VR, for example, they have a statement confirming that the focal length or distance is one meter and clearly state that if you wear progressive lenses or reading glasses, to consult your optician for a prescription based on a one meter distance. They also clarify that if you have single vision glasses, one prescription for both near and far distances, you can use that. That's all nice and clear. However, the one issue I have is it's not immediately obvious when you go to the order page to enter your details. You do need to scroll down a fair ways in order to pick this information up and the opportunity to miss it is there. A visit to VR Optician, which I think are based in Germany. They are obviously aware of the difference in the focal length or focal distance and suggest your far distance prescription and then they will alter that prescription to suit the focal length of the VR headset. So in effect they'll do it for you. I can only assume they'll do that by selecting a midpoint from your prescription. I think kudos to VR Optician for this initiative. Likely to suit most, but as demonstrated, not necessarily all. With regards to VR Rock, I went through the order process. There was no notification with regards to the difference in the focal length. They're either unaware or alternatively, they do it for you, but don't comment to that effect. And finally, I visited VR Wave. In the interest of openness and transparency, please note that VR Wave have sponsored this channel in the past. They do make it clear at the top of the order page that the focal distance or visual distance of the Pimax crystal light is one meter, and suggest that you should check between your far and near distance to see which one suits you best prior to ordering. Let's now have a quick look. I've got lenses from VR Wave. I'm actually using them right now, as well as uh, comfort options where I've really changed and transformed the comfort of the Pimax Crystal Light for me now that I'm using prescription lenses. So let's have a quick look at the lenses and how to fit them and also some of the comfort options which you can tailor make to suit yourself. The lenses arrive in a comparatively small box. Due to the size of the lenses in the Pimax Crystal or Pimax Crystal Light, they're each in the individual holder. The holder is suitable to withstand the normal rigors of shipment. These lenses are not magnetic, they're the push clip on type. With the Pimax Crystal Light, I found I was able to wear glasses with this standard thickness foam. But using prescription glasses, you'll need the thicker 15mm foam available directly from Pimax, or alternatively as I have done, I opted for a studio form alternative details later in the video. To fit the lenses, I recommend you remove the face gasket first. This is easiest done by pushing down underneath, as indicated from the bottom of the headset, and the face gasket comes away. And we can now see those magnificent aspheric lenses within the Pimax crystal light. We're now ready to fit the lenses. The lenses are clearly marked left and right. Make sure you get them the right way round. This is the left lens that I'm fitting. Match the shape of the lens to those in the headset and then push down firmly, making sure it's seated all the way round. Once fitted, you'll see there's a gap between the headset lens and the lens you've just installed. This is to prevent scratching and allow for some ventilation to prevent fogging or misting up, as these headsets can generate a fair amount of heat. Both are now fitted, time to replace the face gasket. At this point you would put on the thicker 15mm foam pad, as you'll need that additional space allowance. I didn't personally opt for the thicker foam face pad, but opted for the Studio Form Gasket Upgrade Kit, which includes a number of spaces, and as shown here, gaskets, that allow you to contour it and shape it exactly as you need. Links to StudioForm website in the notes below the video. 
I'm going to fit the gasket to the face housing. Each gasket is about 2mm in thickness. And then fit the studio form face pad on top of that. This will provide me with more than adequate space. If you needed more space, of course, well, you could just add another gasket. Everything is velcroed on and cut and made to measure. Really is a relatively straightforward process. That's the gasket now fitted. The studio form face pad itself is considerably softer and therefore more comfortable than the Pimax Crystal or Crystal Lite default offering. You have an option for PU leather type, which is what I've got, or a grey fabric. And for me that completely transformed the comfort and eliminated any light leakage. In addition, and as shown in a previous video, I have retained the Apache top strap, also from Studio Form, which helps me balance out the weight of the Pimax Crystal Lite, making it one of the most comfortable VR headsets I've ever used. Personally, well, I wouldn't be without it. It's a winning combo. Well, thank you for your time today. I hope you found it useful and informative. As always, stay well, look after yourselves. I'll see you all again very soon. And ciao for now.